In this video, we're going to work on replacing the coils on my 2006 F-150 with a three-valve 5.4 liter engine. We're going to replace the stock coils with these MSD blaster coils. Uh, one of the main reasons is that the stock coils on these trucks are prone to dying. And that leads to numerous issues with misfire and everything else. So let's get to the video on replacing the coils. It should be a pretty easy project, but who knows until we start getting into it. So let's find out. Water coil pack changed out right here. The ones on the driver's side all seem fairly accessible. I mean, they're in there kind of deep, but nothing too serious. I just changed the first three and they're actually pretty hard to be able to see with the camera but you know even right here I'll try to disconnect this one here just so you guys can kind of see pull the off and I got to get my socket wrench way in the back there but it's going to be a pretty tight fit. All four of these coils changed out should take you about 10 minutes you can see the access bolt right there to pull it out. The one right there is behind there, the one right there is behind there and the one back corner pretty straightforward for this side. The passenger side is going to be another story. This one here is going to be a little awkward, maybe. Oh, you cocksucker. Somebody had lost the bolts on this one and put a couple of flathead screws in it. I'm not a big fan of that. But they're just fucking holding me up. Come on, you dirty cocksucker. Come on. Feed her through. Feed her through the mess. There we go. Same with the new one, gonna feed it down through the mess. Stab the plug liner up. Tighten this cocksucker up. Then plug the wire back in. Make sure it clicks. Go to the next one, which is right back here. Ah, pull the wire off. Another screw that somebody put in. We'll unscrew that. Oh, come on, you bitch, Brian. Let's reach in, pull this one out. Perfect. I need that screw. Put it on this one. Let's see where I'm going to right there. Last two, I just removed the electrical connections for the PCM, and then I'm just gonna pull that out to get access to those back two there, because they're gonna be a bit. The PCM's removed, I removed the bracket too, and it gives you really easy access to the last two coil packs. This one right down here, I removed the fuel injector plug-in, that way I can just grab it like this, pull it out, grab the new one here, push it down into place, Grab the little nut and feed her in. Now this rear one, I'm breaking it free, twisting off by hand, but I left the electrical connection at the back because it was kind of awkward to push the tab and pull it out. So I'm hoping that I'm able to pull it out a little bit, make it a little bit easier to get at. So hold on. See if I can get that plug on. all back in place, including that rear one. And now we're going to put the bracket back in and screw in the ECM or PCM. And then we're going to be ready to fire this bitch up. A little tip to you guys if you are removing your plug ins from the back of your PCM, you want to make sure you put them in carefully because if you bend those pins, 
you're gonna be in for a world of hurt and everything's together we're ready to start Coil. See, I'm gonna show you I removed one of the boots just to see what was under it because a lot of people will troll you if you change your plugs don't change the boots because they start talking smack saying that oh you know you're gonna have misfire issues and everything else it's a bunch of load of fucking shit I'm telling you that right now because I changed mine it's been over a year never had a misfire problem at all so don't believe that bullshit just just remember to inspect your boots if you are doing that task and uh, hopefully you don't have any broken plugs because that's pretty common with these engines but yeah let's go fire this bitch up no engine code so far that's pretty good so um Let's take it out for a rip and see what my final thoughts are. All right, do you know what time it is? It's motherfucking beer time. That's what time it is. <sighs> Another job well done. However, I must say, you know, so many people when they change the coil say that, you know, it's increase of power, smoother idling. I didn't notice any difference at all, just that the fact that I got all brand new coils. So hopefully I won't have to worry about any of them giving me issues for a long time, for as long as I own the truck, because i got almost 200,000 K on the stock coils, pretty sure they're almost ready to die. But anyways, it's motherfucking beer time, I'm going to get going. This job will take you about one beer, 20 to 40 minutes if you're plugging away, and that's it. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.